What's up everybody? If you love to travel, if you love backpacking around, if you love taking a motorcycle around the world, whatever it is, this video is for you. Today I'm going to make a video all about how I pack my clothes, my personal hygiene stuff, my camping equipment, sleeping bag, tent. So if you saw the last video I posted, it was all about motorcycle parts, gear, apparel, what you need to take on a trip around the world. This is a continuation but for the backpackers and also for the motorcyclers on what gear to take personally as far as clothes, shoes, and camping equipment. We got a few pairs of shoes here. We have all my clothes in these wonderful airtight bags. We have a backpack with all the nice patches. We have a bunch of clothes, and we have a pair of uh, hiking boots as well. Camping equipment, we got some flashlight, we got a, uh, a knife, we got some personal hygiene towels, we got some clothes, personal safety stuff. We got the cooker, we got a sleeping bag, we got a mat, we have a tent. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, basically I'm buying a motorcycle in Argentina and I'm going to drive it around South America for a while. Alright, let's get started with the first item. Obviously a nice pair of walking shoes. These are also my running shoes. The next thing they have is a pair of waterproof shoes. So again, these are not necessary. I recommend you go flip flops. Seven pairs of everything. So that means seven pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear. So I got two pairs of pants, one very thin, one a little thicker. I also have a thermal pant liner, thermal top liner for when it gets really cold. I have around four or five short sleeve shirts. I have about another two or three long sleeve shirts. I also have a waterproof poncho for the motorcycle that I use for backpacking as well. If you're wondering what these bags are. It helps save space because you put it in these bags and you squeeze all the air out. If you do that, you really save yourself a lot of space. Medium size waterproof jacket as well. I got a pair of hiking boots and I have a backpack. So this is what I take. It's just two pairs of pants, a few shirts, pairs of underwear, a backpack, Comfortable pair of running shoes, hiking boots, and waterproof boots for the shower. All right, when it comes to hygiene, I am very simple. I am very low maintenance. Basically, everything that I need, including toothbrush, deodorant, ibuprofen, mouthwash, face wash, Q-tips, dental floss, face protector, toothpaste, vitamins and minerals, which you definitely need on a long distance trip. Uh, it's all here in this little, this little box, even some hair product. Uh, so anyway, this is my personal little baggie for everything that I need for hygiene. Oh, don't forget your soap. All right, so camping equipment. I don't like to spend a lot of money on camping equipment because you only use it a fraction of your trip. But basically, check it out. I have a $25 tent from Walmart. It's not very waterproof, uh, but it's very light. And if I lose it, somebody takes it for me. I really don't care. It's 20 bucks. Sleeping bag. I've had this sleeping bag for like 10 years. It's, a, it's an awesome sleeping bag. It's a, it's a North Face. It's a zero degree bag. Now, I would probably say zero degree bag is the way to go. Any sleeping bag that's zero degrees will do. Next thing you want is a nice, comfortable sleeping mat. It's only like $30 on Amazon. So no, when you're traveling, you definitely want a towel because hostels don't give you towels. Uh, so this is a really small, compact one uh, to have around when you shower. So wire mesh. And what the wire mesh does is it goes over your camping backpack and then you can lock it and you can basically tie it to the bed or tie it to a post of some sort. It's basically a little cooker and you know, it's a big cup. Uh, it, you know, there's a little gas stove. It's a gas stove basically. It's a cool thing to have. Do you need it? Not really. You'll find food in most places, especially if you're going to hostel. I would recommend a spork. You can actually cut this into a spork if you wanted to. Uh, but a nice cheap plastic thing is a very smart thing to have. Just a light, either a headlamp, either a light like this where you can click on and off. Uh, obviously safety is a big, big concern when you're traveling different places you're unfamiliar with. Carry a knife around. Uh, it's a pretty small blade for protection if you're in the wilderness, if you're in places you're unfamiliar with. It's, it's good to carry around to make you feel better if you want. But again, do you really want to get in a knife fight uh, when somebody's robbing you for your 100 bucks, your 200 bucks? It's up to you to decide what battles you want to fight. Uh, I also carry a multi-tool around. That goes in my motorcycle gear. Personal protection, I also do carry pepper spray. It's a very small one. I've never been in a situation to where I've needed to use it, uh, but it's good to have. Microbial wipes, uh, because you always are quite dirty when you're traveling, especially on the motorcycle. Uh, so this helps me clean my visor, helps me clean the motorcycle, helps me clean before I eat. So because of the clothes thing, I, I take this detergent to actually wash and clean my clothes for the first time. Uh, eventually along down the road, I buy them on the street uh, because it's a lot easier. But I So if you're interested more in motorcycle gear and parts that you should take on your trips, uh, be sure to check out my video on the link below. It's all back here. I already did a video on that. I have a great video on camera gear and equipment that I take when I travel. So if that's of interest to you, be sure to check out the link below or check out the end card. And thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next video.